Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Can't see a goddamn thing! It's blocked, but I reckon it might give! Thank <laughs> you. 
kill you too, old woman. You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No. Reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. <laughs> Never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? 
Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. I'm saying, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run.
We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots <sighs> changed. Watch out. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Well, you ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and oh, take a look. Shit. It's them again! Still some here. I can see that. Anymore, you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! you'd come soon enough you are some of the coward like you the bounty hunters the freedmen the carpet beggars the army of criminals who stole our land and our government I survived them all our fight will live on Jesus. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We've got the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. We got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? 
Arthur, take a ride with me? Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to it. Hey! Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. 
And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far, so... You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> Excuse that's me. That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have them. Hey, can I get a I'm drink? I'm sorry. Here? Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. And what you don't Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know, I guess. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's a bad brand. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits! Let's go! That fellow looks angry! Get back here! Shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. 
You know, I kind of miss old bobtails. Ain't you tired yet, old man? Hey! Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town.
I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Out of the damn way! Quite like wearing your best day's work. I can travel faster with this stall in tow than you or anyone can with nothing but a horse and a saddle. It's not about speed, it's about knowing the land. I'd do if I had your youth. These days I'm fishing more and tracking less. My old man was right. Sneaks up on you. Thirsty, huh? Fine choice. Something in mind? All I need are the right materials. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Interested in one of my charms? to measure. Have a look. Thank you. Really. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? 
Hi, Shokan. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some... some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My man... Back off of two. Oh, excuse me. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Something don't Back seem here. right. Looks like this Sir, pulls out or something. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now! Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. I'm really not a bad man. <coughs> I'm just watching it while he's away. They made me do it, I swear. Oh, uh, hello? Shh, gadgete, gadgete. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. No, <sighs> Zaki. <sighs> Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Welcome back. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. 
I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Where are you going? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Be careful, eh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too! <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, for it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm.
sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Come on! Hey, All right. Hey. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. couple of things out with your boss. Nathan! Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city Stinking of shit and looking like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you 
twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. Not the best woman. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. They run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right, let's go. Yeah, you know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just... Get this done. Huh? Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Come on. We're not riding in there. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Can't be far. Let's keep going. Wait. Shush. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. Here, mister. It ain't safe. Get in cover. Hey, John. Over here. Good 
boy found my cap is watching! Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's, let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Let's stick to the side. our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, 
Would you see where we're at once we got Jack? Get this done. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said. You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Damn. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's fruit. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of fine words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well... The man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun. And left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. 
Thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Suspiciously as usual. You okay, Sadie? Uh, sure. I'm just trying you to give you all your been good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lay us away.
I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing. Morning, dear. I think I might have had too much fun last night. All right. Gotta stay away from that wisp. Okay, Arthur? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, 
You join the party? We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gum gum? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to run. such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint-Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll say you and me cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! 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 My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Hello there. Hello there. How do you do? 
Bonjour, ma'am. Good evening. Bonjour, monsieur. Good sir. Hello. Look at that, sir. Is there a little something? How do you do, ma'am? Ma'am? Hello, sir. How are monsieur. you? Monsieur. Sir. Good evening. Hello, ma'am. Hey, oh, mister. Sir. Oh, how do you do? Yeah. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Ah, who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society.
<laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. John. Arthur. My lady. Arthur. You all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. How's it going? Got some guts, that boy. Always said he took after his mother. <laughs> You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Let me know if you find candy. Oh. Oh. Hey, Art! Oh. I left a box of ammunition by your tent. I thank you for getting me that palm out. Okay. Well, thanks, Bill. Hey. Good morning. Morning. Oh, what time?
pay, Arthur. Lady, all good here? Easy now. Raiders are insane! The word is excuse me. Take a pamphlet, please. I want you to be safe. Hello. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion 
of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. According to the great teachings of our master, this land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shadows. Come on, girl. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Telonia, the one true American's religion. The one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago Howdy. this year. Ah, Good morning. Hello, mister. Bonjour. Dear boy. Yes, here That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all the... Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Yeah. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir.
There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. How are you today? Oh, things are good. Oh, yeah, that's a successful evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you, from Toad. Prince, uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Those Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we were... Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Now, what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now... Forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Yeah. 
Looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get out of here! Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, I wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. That weapon won't be necessary. This Just way. Just in case. I've heard that one before. Arthur, drop back a bit or he'll see you. He went around the corner. Arthur, drop back a bit. Oh. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I don't think so. 
What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. Nope. This is kind of fun. Hey. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, you like that. Hey! You, Ashton! Hold her right there! Working with Gillis, aren't you? Get out of there! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. What do you take me for? 
Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Father. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Theater? Me? How about here on the right? Sure. After you? The greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire! Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Johnny.
sleep a wink, I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down in San Juanee. Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm. And he Cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> yeah, Your yeah. mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Ooh. Stop it. Amazing. can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain.
enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! <laughs> Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better.